Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to evaluate um, for the angle when I have cosine of theta equals 5 over 7. So remember, what we want to do whenever we're given a point that's not on the unit circle, the main important thing is we want to draw a triangle. Now remember the cosine function, cosine of an angle, that represents the, the ratio of the adjacent side of a triangle over the hypotenuse. So when I look at this, I know that this point's not on the unit circle. And remember, it was nice when we had points on the unit circle because our, our hypotenuse is always 1. Here, our hypotenuse is not going to be 1, though, so it's going to be 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a generic triangle, right angle, and I'm just going to have theta be there. Now, I said the adjacent side is 5, and my, um, uh, my uh, hypotenuse is 7. So now what I need to do is I need to use Pythagorean theorem to help me get this other side. So I'll write, quickly write, 7 squared equals 5 squared plus b squared. So 49 equals 25 plus b squared minus 25 minus 25 equals 24 equals b squared. Take the square root. So I have b equals the square root of 24. Now we always want to see if we can reduce that at all. And I can break that down into b equals 2 square root of 6. All right? So therefore, my, this second leg is b square root of 6. Now what the, actually the question is asking us to do is evaluate for sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, um, secant, and cotangent. So now once we have this, remember, we need to go back through, through all of our trig identities. And remember, so we already know cosine, if you remember, was adjacent over hypotenuse. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. And your tangent of theta is going to equal opposite over adjacent. So we're just going to, let's go and find these out first. So my sine opposite, which is uh, opposite of my angle, which is 2 radical 6. So sine of theta equals 2 radical 6 over 7. Cosine, which we already figured out, is going to be 5 over 7. And then let's do tangent of theta, which is opposite over adjacent, 2 over radical 6 over 5. So those are my three main trigonometric functions. Now remember, they asked us to do the reciprocal functions as well. So the reciprocal of sine is cosecant of theta, meaning what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reciprocal of this function. So the reciprocal of 2 radical 6 over 12 is going to be 7 over 2 radical 6. Now, to get rid of my um, denominator, I need to make sure I rationalize the denominator, multiply by 6 over 6, and therefore I get 7 radical 6 over 12. To find the reciprocal of cosine, that's the secant of theta, which is going to be 7 over 5. And the cotangent of theta is going to be 5 over 2 radical 6. Again, rationalize the denominator, and you get 5 radical 6 over 12. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find your six trigonometric functions um, when, given a two, when given the trigonometric um, function for cosine of 5 over 7. Thanks.